Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel. Some time ago, I did a video where I explained how you can draft your own will in under five minutes. And I'm gonna put a link to that video in the description below so you can check it out in your own time. Now guys, that video dealt with the drafting of a will. Now it's important to keep in mind that once you've drafted your will, there are certain formalities to comply with to make sure that in the end, that document is accepted here in South Africa as a valid enforceable will. And the purpose of today's video is to talk about exactly that, what to do to make sure that your will constitutes a valid and enforceable will. Now guys, this subject is regulated by the Wills Act here in South Africa. And I'm also gonna put a link in the description down below to a copy of the Wills Act. So you can read what the act says about uh, the validity of wills and of course as with anything there's many commentaries you can find on the subject take for example this book considered the bible when it comes to wills and estates there's like 20 pages in this book devoted only to the subject of the validity of wills now i'm not here guys to give you a lecture on all of that today but what i will do in this video is i'm going to summarize what you do to make sure that your document at the end constitutes a valid and enforceable will. So guys, here's what you do basically. When you've got your document ready and you're happy with the contents, right? Call two people that can act as witnesses, right? Now, these two people, keep in mind these two things about these witnesses. One, they should be competent witnesses. Now in the Wills Act, you'll see competent witnesses uh, or a competent witness is described as someone who is 14 years or older and who is competent to give evidence in a court of law. So that's a competent witness. So make sure the two people you call, they meet those requirements. Secondly, make sure the witnesses you call that they don't feature in the will as beneficiaries or as a nominated executor. Why? Because if someone acts as a witness to a will, then that person and, or, and his or her spouse uh, may be disqualified from taking a benefit from the world. So that's why make sure that the two people you call to act as witnesses, they don't feature in the world as beneficiaries or nominated executor. Right. Now, when you've got your two witnesses with you and you've got your document with you, then you sign the document at the end thereof, right? And you get your two witnesses to also sign the document at the end thereof the three of you all being present at the same time, right? Next thing, if your will consists of more than one page, then you sign each and every other page also in full. You can get your witnesses to also sign each and every other page in full, although technically in South Africa, it's no longer required for the witnesses to also sign all of the other pages if the will consists of more than one page. It remains good practice though to still do it. And we in practice, we also still do it. So there's nothing wrong with doing it. It's just no longer technically required for the witnesses to also sign each and every other page. Now guys, if you've done that, that's it. Your will will then be accepted as a valid will. There's just one thing to keep in mind. Sometimes people sign by not making a full signature, but by making a mark like an X. Now, if the testator is gonna sign, if it's your will and you're going to sign your will by making a mark like an X, then keep in mind that you also need the involvement of a commission of oaths. There's something the commission of oaths must do if you are going to sign by making a mark like an X and not use your full signature. So if that is the case, then it's not just you and your two witnesses doing what I've just explained. You also need the commissioner of oaths to be involved and the commissioner will know what to do. That's it, guys. Now, there can be many uh, tricks and, and hiccups when it comes to this simple exercise. And what we'll do in some future videos is we'll take a look at some of these um, hiccups and complications that can arise and we'll see how the courts deal with it. But I hope you found uh, today's video valuable, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here next time. And until then, take care and cheers for now.